feel free to give us a ring 0116 251 1049 um, and also on Twitter uh, you will see that I've posted a picture of the red car lifeboat uh, now we of course in Leicester um, bought and paid for uh, red cars RNLI lifeboat uh, Leicester Challenge 3 Leicester Challenge 3. It's a B-class lifeboat, Leicester Challenge 3, paid for by us, the people of Leicester. Um, and uh, you will know that uh, I have um, um, fairly strong links there, having been to two of the naming ceremonies and covered them for you. Um, and uh, they're lovely people, and they do keep us in touch when our lifeboat goes out, because it's kind of their lifeboat, but it's also our lifeboat. Um, and um, I've put a picture on Twitter of um, the lifeboat um, towing a fishing boat back to Redcar, because uh, they had to go out yesterday to rescue a father and son uh, who had a very lucky escape when a freak engine accident threw them both into the sea out of their fishing boat. Um, the father and son were fishing off red car and their boat's outboard motor broke down. They then attempted to fix it and while they did, um, they did rather too good a job because um, they actually got the engine restarted. Um, but as it restarted, the boat was in gear and it set off at full speed, which immediately threw both of the men into the sea. Now, the fishing boat, with its engine still going, circled the two men for 40 minutes, 40 minutes until it ran out of fuel. Uh, the younger man, the son, believed to be in his 20s, was then able to climb back into the boat and he sent out a mayday distress call at around about half past 12 lunchtime. Meanwhile, his father had been carried nearly a quarter of a mile away from the boat by the tide. So the uh, Red Car RNLI lifeboat was immediately sent out on the job, and as it was heading in that direction, a nearby fishing boat, with, as luck would have it, an RNLI volunteer called Cameron Bond and his son Jordan, on board. Uh, they also heard the Mayday. They responded and in fact it was Cameron, the RNLI volunteer in his boat um, that found um, the father in the water about 300 yards away from his boat. Uh, they pulled him from the sea. He was shaking violently. He couldn't speak and Cameron said, I knew from my RNLI training that I had to get the man back to the beach as fast as I could so the crew from the lifeboat station could give him first aid. Uh, he got him back to Red Cart very quickly and the RNLI crew members were waiting and they gave the man first aid before getting him into an ambulance. Um, meanwhile, the Red Car lifeboat had arrived um, with the boat um, and they found the younger man still on board the boat, also suffering uh, from the effects of having been in the sea for such a long time. Uh, he was also taken on board the lifeboat, given first aid and they made full speed for the lifeboat station. Both men were treated by ambulance crew before being transferred to the James Cook University Hospital in Middlesbrough. And then, the, and this is the picture that I've put on Twitter, the Red Car lifeboat returned once again to the scene uh, to tow the fishing boat back to Red Car. Uh, so two men there have a very extremely lucky escape uh, because that boat going round and round in circles, um, Dave Cox from Redcar RNLI, uh, knows that there have been some very tragic accidents involving boats when people are thrown into the sea and the boat's engine keeps on going. So um, a, a, a happy ending to what could have been a very tragic story indeed. But I just thought I'd share that with you because, um, you know, it is very, very likely that you will have put your hand in your pocket at some point and uh, supported the RNLI and maybe, you know, your contribution helped to buy uh, Leicester Challenge 3 that was involved in that rescue yesterday. It's BBC Radio Leicester. It's Mon with you through until nine o'clock this morning and uh, it's high time.